Hello everybody and welcome back to another Man in the NFL 2009. Um, our first game is with the lineup. I'm going to turn on all rewinds because I feel like I don't really need them. I think you have facts about every single thing as well. Nashville, Tennessee, home of LP Field, will be our location for this upcoming matchup between St. Louis and Tennessee. Let's take you now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth, who are getting set for the kickoff. We couldn't have asked for better weather in this one as we get set for tonight's game. Good evening, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here. Chris, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Preseason games are really designed to get your players back into game speed. It also gives you a chance to look and how all the new players might fit into your offense or defense. Caught at the eight. They get him at the 33 yard line. And we'll see how their offense has prepared for this matchup as they come onto the field for the first time. The offense will start at the 33. Tennessee got a four wide set. Drops back on first down. He didn't get his feet set as he threw. Brought down around the 50-yard line. That was a good-looking throw. Yeah, great throw, but maybe even a better read. He understood by watching what the defense did after the snap of the football exactly where to go with that ball. First and 10. White is the single setback. Feeds it to the back. And they get him at the 45. White gains about five yards on the run. They line up at the 45. The Rams bring in the nickel package. Looking to throw. Goes through his read. Oh. Andy has been his go-to guy on the drive. Excellent pass for the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. Play fake. Looks down the field. Steps out at the 17. Crumpler gains about five yards on the play. They line up at the 17. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Fakes to the back. Moves up. Strong throw. He's finally dragged down and now it will be first and goal. Looking for the score here on first down. Offset eye formation in the backfield. There's a play fake. He's going to take off. He'll pick up uh, less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. Second and goal coming up. One yard to the goal line. Single set backfield. Fakes to the back. Moves to his right. He was determined to take that one all the way himself. That was crafty, wasn't it? A little crafty run that time by the quarterback. He may not be the fastest guy out there, but he had a little slither to him that one. They come on the field to attempt the extra point. The snap, set down, the kick is up. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks it off. 
Drop at the 30. I'm sure they'd like to come away with some points as they take the field for the first time. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Jackson lines up as the deep back. I formation. He drops back. All kinds of pressure. It's dropped. Okay. Bennett wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Rams come out with the offset eye. Hand off up the middle. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Jackson picks up two yards with the carry. They'll need eight here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Bolger lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Ready. Turbo, turbo. Come on. Feeds it to the back. Brought down at the 32-yard line. And they get no push for the offensive line. Oh, yeah, they did. They were all moonwalking on that play. They were pushing. They were just pushing and going backwards. The Titans are lined up tight. I think they're going to try to get this punt. He gets it away. Carr fields it at the 29. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. They line up at the 39. Young is under center. I formation behind him. White on the give. He's dropped at the 44-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 44. White gets another carry. Tackle at the 49 yard line. White picks up five yards with the carry. So that'll bring up third down just a couple of inches away from picking up this first down. Makes the run. Throws off his back foot. And they get him around the 39-yard line. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wide out, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz, and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Looking to throw. Passes. And he caught it. They'll get in for the touchdown. They hooked up for a long touchdown. I don't care what you say. Anytime you see a big pass play like that, I think it's as pretty as anything that happens in sports anywhere. That was awesome. And they line up for the extra point. And the point after is good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Great kick here. And he's finally stopped at midfield. Their last drive ended with a three and out. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. He 
he drops back to pass. And it's picked off. He's dropped at the 46-yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Might want to start thinking about trying to pick on that guy. We've seen all day he has simply been quicker to the spot than the wide receivers coming into his area. That was good. He looks to throw on first down with the pass. He's there for the catch. Brought down at the 36-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Only one man back. Young looking to throw. Looks for a man open. He's got it. Touchdown. And that's about as well executed a play as you can ask for. And that's no fluke right there. We saw him hit that play a couple of times in practice the other day. That's something they're going to come back to until you find a way to stop it. They'll look to tack on the extra point. Kick is up. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Excellent kick here. Wow. Hit and dropped at the 16. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. Tennessee lines up with five defensive backs. Straight ahead with a fullback. Jukes away, and he will be tackled. They gain five yards there, and that will bring up second down. St. Louis calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. He drops back to pass. Pass is complete, and he's drilled at the 25. Pretty good read on that play to find the open man. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees the receiver break free in coverage. Short throw to the left. Um, Tackled at about the 29-yard line. They won't huddle here as they try to speed things up. Bolger is under center. Single set backfield this time. St. Louis using an audible. Looks to pass. Passes it. Bullock knocks it away. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Bolger is lined up under center. He has two backs behind him. Looking to throw. Throws on the run. He's brought down right around the 40-yard line. And a big catch for the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Bolger takes it back. On the run, he throws it. So they get a first down on the play, and that was a very nice catch. If you have receivers that can make catches like that, it is just almost impossible to defend. As a quarterback, you just throw it to the open spot and know that guy can go get it. What a play. Passes left. And they get him at the 35. And as we head to halftime, score is 21-0. Thanks, Tom. Well, at least one of these teams had a good first half. Here are some of the first half's highlights.
Kicks it off. Williams from the five. Hit and drop at the 30. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 30. Pittman is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Drops back. Passes the ball. He's dropped around the 47-yard line. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and finding the open man. As a receiver, when you go against a zone defense, it's much more about recognition and knowing where the holes in that zone defense are. That time the receiver executed perfectly and found the open spot. Pitch out. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. A halfback toss gets them a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 48. Ace backfield this time. Let's go now. New 20. New 20. New 20. Dagger. Back to pass. Throws it. Picked off. He heads the other direction. Yeah, try to catch me now. He's finally. <laughs> try to catch me now. <laughs> He's oh, in. Touchdown. What an interception for this defense. You know, it's bad enough Ooh. offensively to throw an interception, but you can't let the guy yeah. run down the field for a touchdown. You have to turn into a defensive player at that point. Ooh, they did not oh. make that transition. The snap. Set down. The kick is up. Tennessee in control. Hendrick is just about ready to put his leg into this. Here's the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's hammered at the 29-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Pitch out. He's hammered in the backfield. He starts out the wrong way and winds up losing yardage. Well, that's no fun for the running back. It's one thing to get stuffed at the line of scrimmage, but when you start losing yards running the football, that's a disaster. <laughs> Back to throw. Rifles it to the right. And he's decleated at the 39-yard line. A decent pickup on the pass play. Yeah, and that's frustrating for a defense. They had good coverage on the play. The receiver just found a way to catch that one. Under heavy pressure, broken up. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Let's go now. Red 20. Red 20. Bronco left. He drops back. Throws to his right. And it's knocked down. What a play by the defender. And the quarterbacks really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. From their own 39-yard line. Tennessee lines up with their prevent defense. He's looking to throw. He throws left. Finnegan intercepts it. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10, into the end zone for a touchdown. What a great interception return by this defense. He had that one all the way. Not only a great break on the ball, but he knew what to do with it and stuck it in the end zone. Tremendous play. Kick is up. Point after is good. Tennessee up big. Off. 
Decent kick. From the eight yard line. Brought down at the 33. The quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. The offense will take over at the 33 yard line. First and 10. Back in motion. He's going to be tackled for a loss. I don't think the offense expected the safety to come up on the ball like that. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Let's go now. Red 20! Red 20! Looking to throw. Scans the field. He's dragged down on the play. That was an unbelievable play to get the sack. Phew, he might need a few minutes to clear the cobwebs out of his head after that one. That's the kind you go back into the huddle and you call a running play next just so you can get your head straight. Now looking at a third and long situation after the sack. St. Louis yeah. sets up in the eye. That was a good sack. Looked like he might have made contact with an offensive player. Here's the call. Encroachment. Defense. The defense can't keep getting up yards on penalties like this. Yeah, it's hard enough in the game today with the rule changes to help the offense to stop an offense anyway, but you can't give away yards. Looks to pass. Throws it short. Finnegan knocks it away. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. He punts it. Johnson takes it at the 36. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. The offense gets the ball back and is clicking on all cylinders after scoring three straight touchdowns. Tennessee lines up in the offset eye this time. Feeds it to the back. Makes it to the 47. A nice pickup of about eight yards. You know, one of the dangers of blitzing is that if you can break that first line of the defense, now you just don't have the pursuit in behind it to stop the run. Here's the halfback. Oh, come on. To the 20, to the 10. And there's another one. Perfect time to go with the run, what a touchdown. They just ran it right at him, didn't they? And they were not going to be stopped on that one. Nice job up front by the offensive line to control the point of attack. They got an excellent push right from the snap, and the running back did the rest. Set down. The kick is up. Tennessee is winning big. The kick. Brought down at the 32-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Let's go now. Move 40. Move 40. Dagger. Green back to pass. He throws on the run. And we have a flag on the play. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Holding. Offense. Yeah. 
and I really didn't see the hold there. Honestly, Tom, there is holding on every single play. I mean, the rule changes now allow for the guys to grab, but you have to keep inside the framework of the defensive player. As long as you do that, it typically doesn't get called. It did there. First down, looking to throw. And the defender intercepts it. Tackle at about the 35-yard line. What a big-time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. Johnson is the single setback. It's the tailback. And he's got room to run. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Just a phenomenal run. Woo! Not often you see that kind of speed in the NFL. Get out there, get it up the field, and when he gets in the open field, look out. And they'll run him again. They finally get him, and it looked like he would score, but instead they'll set it up with first and goal. Inside the five now. Three yards for the touchdown. Single back formation. Still moving. They'll tack on another one. And I remember that old end zone celebration. That one dates back a few years. And they line up for the extra point. Extra point is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Not a bad kick. It's fielded at the two. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. First down now and 10 to go. Green back to pass. Looking for a receiver. No, he drops it. Burns was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. They line up at the 28. St. Louis is going with the offset eye backfield. Let's go now. New 40. New 40. Roll up. Fargo, Fargo. Fargo. Hang on. Drops back to pass. Strong throw to the center of the field. And they get him around the 32-yard line. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard, building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. On play action, makes the grab. He's dropped at the 35. Not much chance of converting that pass into a first down. Nah, and that's really what the defense was hoping for there. They settle their defense behind the chains, allow you to catch the ball, come up and make the tackle. Perfectly executed that time by the defense. Looking to throw. Throws wild on the run. Incomplete pass, and that was fourth down. They'll start this drive at the 35. Collins is under center. Two tight ends this time. Feeds it to the back. To the 10. And they'll keep adding to their lead. The running back into the end zone for his second score of the game. One score is nice, but two, that is really special. And ask any fantasy football player out there, if this guy's on your team, you're almost as happy as he is right now. It's good. Tennessee up by a bunch. We have less than a minute to go. He kicks it. Hall fields it at the three. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. 
This offense couldn't get anything going on their previous drive. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Let's go now. They'll throw on first down. There for the catch. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Green lines up under center. Four receivers are split out wide. St. Louis using an audible. Back to pass. Defense is getting pressure. Harper knocks it down. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. This looks like their last shot to get it into the end zone. Here we go. Blue 20. Blue 20. Front the left. He drops back to pass. Makes the catch. To the 20, to the 10. And the Rams will score again. He hauled in that long pass for a touchdown. What are you going to do? How do you defend that? That's just perfectly executed between a hot quarterback and a pretty good receiver. So they're ready for the extra point. Up and good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Well, this blowout will finally wrap up our score. The Titans, 56. The Rams, 7. Hey, this was a good one throughout. And these are just a couple of the plays that showed us just that. So for Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth, I'm John Madden saying goodbye. Thanks again for watching.